then turn left onto Paramount Boulevard. What is going on guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Before we get this video started, I just want to take the time to thank each and every one of you guys for reaching out, either through a comment, through an email, through an IG message, and just making sure that I was in good hands. Unfortunately, the truck did suffer from some damage on that last trail or that last video. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. Thankfully, I was able to drive the truck home, even if it was on the far right lane, nice and slow, but we got home safely. We got everything repaired and now finally back on the road to our next destination. Let's get this video started. This is a trail that started near Interstate 70 and it basically just followed the north ridge of Georgetown. Throughout the whole entire trail, we did see fields of wildflowers, we saw groves of aspen trees, we did pass a couple of abandoned cabins and also abandoned mines. Aside from the scenic view, we did have to engage our 4x4 and our lockers to get through several obstacles and closer to the top, we did run into some snow. Alright, so we hit a little fun part. I'm thinking uh, about three feet of snow, still fairly soft, and uh, we're going to see if uh, Kyle can make it up. Let's go. <laughs> what happened, Kyle? Uh, there's a big fucking wall of snow. <laughs> His whole wheel is like imprinted on the snow. Yes, let's go. And if you didn't know, this Twan is with me today. Finally came out of his cave. Oh yeah. <laughs> you came here, so you came out of here. I know, cave. man. That was a that was a mission, guys. 15 hours, but hey, we came here to wheel, so first day out here. <laughs> you already know. Getting stuck. Pretty deep. <laughs> Trying to figure something out. Yeah, so that was a no-go for Andrew. So I was the first runner-up, didn't get too far either. Last but not least, we're gonna see if Swan can plow through it. I think he can do it, just, it all depends whether he wants to get that pedal to the metal, baby. Swan, putting in the work. High centered, but hey. Max strikes will come in clutch. That's it, high center too. We're not taking pictures of you. Just the truck. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, we just, <laughs> we're just zoomed in on the truck. <laughs> They said uh, leading the way would be fun. And there I am, stuck. <laughs> so after being on the truck for a little bit, having some fun, getting stuck, and enjoying the scenic views, finally found the perfect camp spot. Check it out. Now you guys know me pretty well, I always pack my fishing gear with me and I was determined to just scout the area in hopes of, just never know, catch and cook or simply just catch a fish but luck was not on our side but it was so beautiful to be able to experience this place and give it a shot, you just never know when you're going to catch a fish. So out of all trips, this is a trip, I didn't forget the jack by the way but I forgot the food. So, uh, yeah, nobody George. brought food. Yeah. Good job, George. And uh, we're gonna settle for some spicy ramen noodles that Tuan's gonna prepare for us. I call this the uh, we don't have enough food because George didn't bring any food. But well, there's different levels of this. So, this one is the normal one, the normal hot. If you guys wanna try this, there is an X2. That one will burn your lips until tomorrow. So if you want some burnt lips, give it a shot. So lately I've been kind of switching my setup around and uh, a lot of you guys know that I did get a goose gear in here which allows me to store stuff a lot easier. So we have the fridge and uh, we have small compartments right in this area here. I'll show you guys. So that's for the, for the jack. I'm gonna throw this over. Excuse the mess. So we open this compartment here. We have all my recovery gear, hoses, tire repair kit. And uh, it's definitely, this goose gear system has definitely made my life a little easier. I definitely made stuff a lot, a lot more organized. But for the most part, I mean, it's, when you're out camping, it's kind of really hard to stay organized and uh, I mean all it really is is just uh, a couple of cooking stuff and uh, just propane just hanging out. But <clears throat> I started using this Typhoon bag to keep everything nice and dry and basically what I put in here are, boom. My sleeping bags, my blankets, and uh, it helps, you know, when you're out on the road. Um, you just never know if you're gonna run into some some rain, some snow, whatever it is. Man, this thing is like on there, just like that. So I've been using this Coleman 
sleeping bag for years. And I'm talking about years since we were like little. But the one that has been a game changer is this quilt. That's right here, this one. This one I got it off Vector Offroad's uh, website. And basically what I do with this one, I'll show you inside once we get inside, but I basically just tuck it all along the edges and it prevents any type of condensation or prevents any type of cold air from going in through these little openings. And uh, yeah, this has definitely made a big difference uh, when it comes down to camping up there inside the eye camper. So now that we're inside, this definitely gives you a pretty clear idea of how I set it up here. So the quilt will be first and then you can obviously put your blankets and your sleeping bag up top. Some people even use quilts just alone to sleep, but uh, I definitely just like using it by itself. And uh, yeah, I basically just tuck it in all along the corners and uh, it's definitely made a big difference. And uh, yeah, Vector Offroad, that's where I got mine. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll be linking it down below. This is not a paid advertisement, but this is just what's worked for me uh, in the past couple of camping trips to, uh, to stay warm. Now, aside from the quilt and the sleeping bag that I've pretty much owned my whole entire life, you can't forget the Mexican El Tigre Colchas. Dude, these things right here. Talk about keeping you warm. These things will keep you warm all night. And I usually carry two. One for Isela, one for me. But this trip, Isela stayed behind. And uh, I'm just going to take advantage and use them both. So now that I've showed you guys around, I do want to show you guys a couple of things that I've added to the truck. And not only that, but just a couple of things that I do use when I'm out in the middle of nowhere, whether I'm camping with friends or by myself. Now, to charge my gear, I've been testing out this EcoFlow lithium pack for, I want to say, two months now. And finally, I'm able to make a video of it and uh, just tell you guys how wow well it works. Uh, one of the reasons why I do like this particular setup is because you do have plenty of options when it comes down to the stuff you can charge. You have your AC, USB-C, USB, you have three different ports on the side. Now, aside from charging my Canon batteries, I also have my drone batteries charging. And the cool thing about this is that it's not only just one lithium pack, you also have an extended battery pack, which I run in the back. And you're basically just working and feeding everything that you're charging, not only with one uh, battery pack, but with two. So. This one will go out first. As you can tell, the lights are, where are we at here? We are still right at, right at like 85%. And then once this one is gone and dead, then it moves on to this one here. So this one is telling me that this one in the back is right at 65%. And then with that comes the solar panels, which sun's pretty much out, but it's good to have when you're just trying to not leave your truck on, not leave the AC running, uh, to charge your stuff, you can use a solar panel as another solution. And if you're wondering, if you watched my last video, yes, I did not forget the jack this time around. There is no way. But uh, another key essential is the buddy heater, which we're actually gonna be checking out Twan's setup, which he's setting up right now. Let's go over there and check it out. All right, guys, we're going to talk about my little heat heater setup that we have here. So before we used to use the uh, buddy heater, but um, the problem with that is the propane fumes hover above the tent and you're pretty much breathing that in um, if you're not venting it out. And I found that when it's really cold out, I have to wake up in the middle of the night, turn it back on, which might wake up other people with the, the click that it no, uh, makes. Um, but this here, this is a diesel heater. This is what uh, 
um, van life people um, use and like semi truck drivers. Um, and basically it's just a engine that brings in um, cool air on one side and brings uh, hot air, hot dry air on the other side, which is super cool. And being that it uses diesel, um, it burns a little cleaner than gas. Um, the other thing is that we did decide to build it inside of a uh, Front Runner Wolf Pack here, as you can see. Um, we carry a couple of these with us um, just as um, storage for supplies. And we figured these stack really well, so we decided just to build it inside of one. And then when we close it, um, it insulates the noise. And we're using the Jackery here to, uh, to power um, the diesel heater. You already know, if the body heater's on, it's time to get some rest. I'll see you guys in the morning. Ooh. Man. You can actually see how cold it is in here, but surprisingly, these blankets came in clutch. You know what time it is? It's coffee time. It was that time to finally say goodbye to this place. Well, it's more like I'll see you later because I'll be coming back here maybe later in the future. But man, to be able to just experience this place and just camp right next to this creek was absolutely beautiful. Now, I am absolutely blessed to be able to do what I do, to have the friends that I do and the family that I do that support me with everything that I do and everywhere I go. And for those of you guys that have been watching since day one, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. For those of you guys that just recently found this channel because of this video, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.